it's um, February 17th, 2022. Um, the next segment and piece, um, they just got over, or they, not got over, but they just did a piece on Lincoln's Dilemma. Um, in unrest in the American colonies. Now, I'm watching this next piece. Here's my takeaway, my whatever. I'm in whatever ink. Um, the... Normally, I wouldn't even put it on. I hate the gidgets, the gadgets, the doodads, all the junk that they've been selling to the American public in the North America hemisphere in my life frame. I absolutely despise it. It just, it's, they're a different kind of drug addict. They're peddlers and pushers, not of heroin, not of cocaine, not of opioids. They're peddlers and pushers of divisive, electronic use, like suckers that cause other health issues and other takeaway issues from the children of ear things because they get used to a certain level of comfort, should we call it, or like, like that's the new bell and whistle I just have to have. And it's an addiction all unto itself. I don't suffer from it, never have, never will. Um, so I'm um, watching it not for the purpose of like, oh my God, that looks so great. I gotta run out and get it. I mean, I don't have the money for it anyway, but even if I did, it's not my cup of tea. It's just, it's everything I hate about the world. It's summed up in a small, I mean, it's, it's one part. I mean, again, like the guy the I mean, like he's a tech guy and he's like, Razzle dazzle from the factory, like check this stuff out. I want to like, be like, I want to encourage you to do something, but like, and I know it's what you love, but it's not good for the kiddos. <laughs> it's just not. Puts reliance on things that are really hard to take them off of. <laughs> the work from home trend continues there's a good chance many of you are thinking about some upgrades around the house see Work from home. Oh, if that's not a headline. So they no longer know how to farm their own food. They don't know how to forage. They don't know how the slaughterhouse or the butcher works for meats. Their farms have closed. I wouldn't even know where to find the nearest dairy or butcher if... Whatever, just being honest, um, this is how painfully obvious and aware I am of just how dangerous my life frame has developed. Um, but the priorities have been to move towards complete reliance on some magical system, and they've moved away from self-sustainability and caring for the oneself and living more free. That's what the humans in this disgusting illusion, in their delusional whatever, has invested their time, their efforts, and their whatever. CNET's Dan Ackerman is here to help. Our resident tech guru has some smart home tech that could help you save some money and make your day a little bit brighter. And he brought in, what else? A toaster? A toaster. A toaster. He's got to go smart home. you got to start with the small things, the little appliances. What does he yeah. do? All right, listen, I'm not going to lie. You don't need a smart toaster. But if you're going to get one, they're kind of fun. This is the Revolution Instaglow. And I love that it has this big, giant touchscreen on the side, very bright. And then you pick what you're doing. You can get a waffle. You can get regular toast. And then you select how to... This would drive me crazy. Give me a toaster with a button that pushes the thing down and the coils toast the bread. Oh my gosh, because we also have an oven in my home where if I was really in a dangerous 
money situation and I could only afford the oven to cook the larger things in convenience, I would just toast the bread on the broiler, like push the, like use the broiler function, toast the bread that way. I mean, like if I'm really paring down the Cuisinart gadgets and gadgets, I would be happy with just an oven. Although I really don't like to cook, so, I mean, but just on a survival necessity, whatever. Um, I mean, if we're not doing outdoor fires, because that's a little too rustic. Meet me in the middle with an oven. But this is so opulently disgusting, and the fact that they keep perpetuating the availability of these items is even more disgusting. Like how there's dark you want it. There's a Pop-Tart there, pop setting. Oh, you, you can, can go. You can go super dark if you're a maniac, or you can just go uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, regular for us, us normal folks. Some, Some people are impressed by this. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah. Uh, 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 For real. Wait, I'm gonna go to the setting for that. Look, I have the setting. This is my this is my normal toast at home. I wanted a perfect comparison. So I have a twenty five dollar smuggling in toast for work. I'm not saying this is gonna be any better, but you get to see a picture. I have a twenty five dollar toast. I can't even. I mean, this is like humans at their dumbest. Like, I mean, they really do it on. They took engineering and made it the dumbest profession. It's really scary. And you just throw a couple of these on, and we're not in the future where. All the blinds are perfect and smart and everything, but this is a good intermediate step, and I love the concept. All right, so we're spending money. Can we save money with that plug over there? I use these on everything in my house that's not... What I want to know is, where do they get this money? Where? Does it just fall from the sky? Because I haven't received any gigantic trust fund or check or any kind of anything, stipend, to draw upon in order to like keep myself in neat and tidy fashion my entire life with like safe roof, safe environment, like nice clothes, whatever. Already a smart device. This is a TP-Link smart plug. A lot of companies make these. You just plug your device into this, plug this into the wall. And now this is the best. I'm having trouble with electricity arcing and whatever and I'm sure there is some think tank whatever who's like trying to push more products not the answer and then again Alexa or your Google Assistant or your app can turn stuff off and on a lot of these have energy monitoring built in so you can see from an app on your phone how much power you're using some of us don't like the cell phone idea. Some of us don't like apps and applications. Some of us don't even want to have to, like, think that the rest of you are so addicted to apps that now I have to learn apps just to have a conversation and keep myself safe in a I don't even use it. I just know about it. And if you go outside and leave stuff on, you can just tell it, oh, turn off that light, turn off that, uh, you know, electronic thing I left plugged in. That's an upgraded oh, wow. clapper. It's kind of like <laughs> <laughs> a verbal clapper. You just go, Alexa, do the it's clapper a, it's thing. A clapper. <laughs> I, I, so, so what do we got on the toast here? Are, 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 we're still, we're still, yeah, yeah, well, oh, we're still counting down. Down. Okay, so um, do you recommend I, the Amazon? This is like Candyland. I swear to it is the most disgusting, ornate display of humanism in the social study in my area in North America. I absolutely hate it. I don't find them charming. I don't, I find this alarming, quite frankly, especially based on the amount of UV radiation that's coming through and my inability to even ex coexist within their having this opportunity. Amazon Blink outdoor security camera. You know, I think we're making a lot of progress here in these cameras, indoor ones, outdoor ones. You used to have to, if you wanted a doorbell or a camera, you had to wire it in. And that was a that was a no-go for a lot of people. Now they're wireless and you could put a couple of batteries in this. Last for like two years. So you can pop it up in batteries. Just put some double-sided tape on the back. 
Stick it anywhere. Oh, wire. Two yeah. years on. I don't Come believe on. that. Listen, I, I got I, I place up in the country, and bears come and go through the garbage occasionally, and I literally got this to put See? outside. I haven't had a chance to put so it. So you can sit in your office like Scarface and have cameras everywhere, and just looking at every angle you of your house. If you choose to do that, that's one way to use this. Right. I don't know what the Scarface reference is. It's probably something in the urban culture that he's encountered. I haven't bumped into the reference. I'm just looking out for the bears. Okay. Is the toast ready yet? It or smells it delicious. Yet? It does smell really I think it might be associated with Al Pacino. I usually hear those two words put together, but I'm not sure because I haven't actually seen the construct of whatever the reference is that the humans speak of. Especially in this annoying, yappy, yippy, yuppy, whatever. It's a small indulgence, a small luxury, and then you go, I've got a smart toaster. What is this setting you back? Um, okay, this is where it gets a little, 400 bucks. 400 And again, and again, and But look at that cool color. <laughs> I want to know what kind of money mechanics these morons are on that they're able to waste $400 a month, or $400 on one device when the oven and the regular toaster was just fine and cut down on consumption. Like, these things don't need to be enhanced. I don't know why they keep allowing the humans to invest in this kind of economical whatever, when the ecological is so out of balance. And things like this are a distraction, but in the wrong direction. It's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Kedaruza. It's Earth, solar system, Milky Way, universe, galaxy is broken. It's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 1361.